Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, in this video, I'm gonna create some login validation for React Native. For example, if you are right or wrong format email, you will get a lot like this. And then, if you want to add uh, customize your password before your you want to hit API, for example, if you want to add some uppercase or lowercase, and maybe you need to add some number on your password validation. You will get a lot error uh, without any so without any further ado let's start it the first thing we need to add is we need to add some value for email and password so we need to add email set email use state empty string cons password set password use state empty string cons C password set C password use state true and then the last thing is cons check valid email set check valid email use state true false sorry so after this we need to add some values email and for the password value password and for secure text entry this is one for hide your password see password yeah after this we need to add on change text on the, our text input before we add some on change text our text input we need to hide for this one so we're gonna cut this and then check file email if this true we're gonna show this one and then if false it gonna show just empty like this so this is gonna be hiding after that we need to add on change text we just write handle check email yeah I'm gonna make some function handle check email sorry yeah we're gonna yeah for email validation we need to add some regex yeah you can just uh, copy paste on this one for the regex validation so the first thing i need to add is set email text and then if re for this one dot task text or regex dot task text set check valid email false else set check valid email true yeah I'm gonna show you how this work yeah, first thing testing this will show wrong format email but if we add task at email.com yeah it will disappear for validation after that we want to add some validation for our password so for the password screen we only need to add on chain tags 
callback text set password text yeah you can see this one if I press this oh I'm sorry I forgot to add some validation for this so we're gonna add some validation on this icon we're gonna cut this one if see password true it will show this and if false it will show a active on press we need to add on press callback set c password c password yeah after that we need to add some validation for our password for validation you can just copy for this one this one is for password must not contain white space password must have at least one uppercase password must have at least one lowercase password must have can contain at least one digit number and then password must be uh, eight until 16 char character long you can create this function and then after that we, we're gonna create login validation cons handle login cons check password check password validity password this one from test function and then for this one from our password values so after that if check password false we're gonna add alert success login else we're gonna add alert respond from our check password and we we'll put this on our button screen on press handle login for example if I try to this if it will show alert like this yeah. mm, oh I forget one thing we're gonna create so if uh, email or password are wrong we need to add some validation for button so user cannot hit our API before they write all this stuff correctly so we're gonna cut for this At some validation if email equal empty string or password equal empty string or check valid email true it will show button disable button disable and then it will disable yeah yeah like this you can see on this one if user didn't write this or wrong format email user cannot press login or something like that yeah, and then after that we need to gonna paste our password yeah it will show success login if you already have API you can just put your logic and then your function on this section yeah I think that's it for login validation video 
if you have any question you can just ask directly to me on Instagram or you can just email me I already put uh, github link for this repository so you can check by yourself so I think that's it for now yeah thank you